Hi, welcome to The Buzz on Talk of the Town. I'm Daniela DeRovio. And I'm Alexandra Shea. And we're bringing you the latest that's going on in Hollywood. So a really huge thing that's going on in Hollywood right now is the Harvey Weinstein scandal. Yeah, there was a New Yorker expose. Uh, it was like a 10-month investigation about these rape allegations made against him from a lot of big-name actresses. Yeah, um, Jennifer Lawrence, who uh, Harvey Weinstein actually produced Silver Linings Playbook, and I believe in one of her acceptance speeches when she won um, an award for that role, she thanked him. And it's very, it, it's a little weird because I think she said in the speech, um, thank you, Harvey, for whatever it is you had to do to get me yeah. to be in this movie. So I just... Some weird stuff happening. But then there's been a lot of like, I never had a problem with him. I yeah. did have a problem with him. But um, Angelina Jolie said she did. Yeah. Yeah, she, she had some some sort of weird stuff happening with Harvey. Yes, both her and Gwyneth Paltrow um, both just said um, that they, when they were starting out in their career, he um, he gave them some trouble. So yeah, and I don't I don't like that at all. And but I think it's really brave that all these you know because it's hard. I mean, an actress in Hollywood, women, oh, yeah. social image, all that stuff. I mean, it's incredibly brave of them to speak out. And I just really, I mean, we really wish them the best over here. And yeah, you know, power through, ladies. On to some happier news. Yeah, definitely exciting. Oh, Star Wars trailer. The trailer was so good. Star Wars freak. Like, I love Star Wars. Seen every movie. Me My too. sister would drag me to the midnight premieres. Like, yeah. I am so excited. My, like, inner, like, seven-year-old. <sighs> is so hyped for this and I don't know if y'all watched it but you really really should. It's it's so much more intense than the other trailer was there. I believe because there was a trailer released in like June and I because I remember like when that came out that was a big deal but this one it was so much more intense. It featured a scene where Adam Driver's in the ship and he's looking at another one and it cuts to it's Carrie Fisher's ship and it's just like he's looking at it like Am I gonna destroy it and not? And then Carrie Fisher's like, "Boy, I dare you!" <laughs> like it, it was, was so good. It oh. was so surreal to see Carrie Fisher on yeah. screen again because, like that, like I was really upset when Me she too. passed away. And there's Me this too. video on Facebook or on Twitter or something of her dog watching the trailer when the scene comes on, and Carrie. he like starts like yapping at the screen and so sad. And like Carrie Fisher is such a boss lady, and like she didn't care about anything. She was like. I'm gonna do my thing and like all these men can suck it. And I was like, amen, sister. So one of the cool things um, right now is that we have a topic that actually pertains to where we are, which is Columbia, South Carolina. Home of the very interesting things that happen. Yeah, right? Well, one of the actually really cool things that happened, well, not really cool, um, Lil Wayne was supposed to perform here at a Colonial Life Arena. But Little Wayne refused to go through security and decided he wasn't going to perform when uh, the when Colonial Life said that you know you have to go through and he's like nah then I'm just not going to perform. So shady. Yeah. Like, people paid money to come see you. They spent their hard-earned dollars. I mean, we're all. I'm sure most of that crowd was college students. Oh we're yeah. We're all broke. We all have no money, and we spent it to come see you. And then to just ditch like that. I mean, I understand that sometimes artists have to do that. Like with the whole Kanye and mm. Kim robbery thing. Like, yeah, he had to leave, and like maybe okay yeah he had to cancel the rest of his tour but at the same time it's like that's your job that's what yeah. you do people are coming to see you and like they love you and your music and it like helps them and like it makes them happy so to take that away is just shady and like Lil Wayne what you doing what yeah you doing? but there is good news <laughs> all right uh, Colonial Life is offering refunds um, so if you call 1-800-653-8000 and we'll put that number right down here uh, you can get your money back so again the number is 1-800-653-8000 anybody remember their excitement when Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth got back together because yeah, I, I do well funny story um, when uh, well Miley Cyrus just uh, talked about this in an interview but when they broke up for the first time, first time, <laughs> Lee, and hopefully the only time, yeah, seriously. apparently Hemsworth bought the house that Miley Cyrus recorded her first album in. Yeah. And like her like, what was it called? Um, was it the Hannah Montana one or was it the breakout one? It we're, was we're the really one. Oh, it was this. the one where it was both Meet Miley Cyrus and the Hannah Montana one where she did where See You oh, Again was on. That's a jam. See You Again. Oh man, that song still rocks. Yeah, exactly. That song. I mean, 
still good. That so album good. was so but good. Yeah, how crazy is that? That Liam Hemsworth <laughs> didn't even know that he moved into her house where she recorded this this first album. And, and what yeah, what was the plaque thing? Apparently, well, the real estate agents had no idea it was him until I guess somebody revealed it the day of and they had to get rid of like the plaque that said like this is where Miley Cyrus recorded it and they had to get rid of it. I, I think they put in like a box in like the garage. So when Liam bought the house and moved in, he opened he just happened to see his ex girlfriend there, so yeah, how crazy is that? Like, especially if they weren't in such a good place, they'd be like, oh my god, this girl is a psycho. And, but, Miley, yeah. and Miley thought it was funny. She, I think it still brings a good chuckle. And I mean, hey, nothing says, like, you know, trying to get over your ex, like, you know, those simple little reminders, like, their number one album. <laughs> well, that's all we have for this week. But please make sure to follow us on social media. For The Buzz, I'm Daniela DeRovio. And I'm Alexandra Shea. And we're going to give you a good old Jersey goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.